This one is close to my heart, but Shell agrees to pay $83 million for, for a devastating Nigerian oil spill. But they're still our maniacs of the week. Oil giant Royal Dutch Shell has agreed to pay Nigerian fishing community two, um, for two massive oil spills that devastated the Niger Delta in 2008 and 2009. Shell will give $53 million of the $83 million settlement, one of the largest settlements ever in Africa, to 15,600 fishermen and farmers, and the remaining 30,000 will go to 30, the remaining 30 million in America will go to the border Boudou community. Um, this is the first time the compensation for the oil spill has been paid directly to the affected people. Now, here's the thing. Shell Dutch oil have been degradating the Nigerian Ojiwa people and the Boudou people um, in Ogun land for eons, decades. I remember talking about this in high school, right? And they're finally paying up. Doesn't matter because they're still drilling in the area. They're still drilling their asses off, America, right? And here's the thing. Following the spill, a 2011 Amnesty International report found that the spill caused the price of food to rise and contaminated and contaminated water supply. The UN estimated it would take up to three decades to fully rehabilitate the region where Shell has caused the oil. So while they have given this country a small and these people a small olive branch, the, the devastation and the disaster from Shell Dutch Oil's bad practices, America. This is why the oil spill, they don't have the same safety practices. They don't have the same safety regulations. They don't have the same mechanisms. They don't have the same checks. They don't have the same inspections. Because they feel as though they can walk into this area with these farmers and these native people, these indigenous people, and they can basically just throw up on their land. It's like walking into somebody's, like walking into somebody's garage and throwing up on their car. And just like, oh, I'm sorry I threw up on your car. Here's a dollar to clean it up. And then you just leave. My mom always used to have one thing to say. My grandmother used to say this. It's not the person that poops in the street that remembers. It's the person that steps in the poop that remembers. And the Ojibwe people are the ones that are going to remember this the rest of their lives. Their water was contaminated. Their food prices went up. They're breathing in bad air. They're drinking bad water. Shell Dutch oil, even though they pooped all over the Nigerian Delta, they're chilling out and, and, you know, they're chilling out in Denmark. They're not worried about it. Oh, well. Cut them a check and keep it moving. We will see what happens here. We'll continue to monitor the story, but this, I'm very happy that there is indeed a settlement. Right? But this is not enough. Right? It's not the first time we see this. While Shell said they, they accept the responsibility for spilling, the oil since the outset. Their original compensation offered as low as $6,000 for the entire community. That's how much they think the community's worth. They could degradate their land, destroy them, and oh, we'll give them, we'll give them $6,000. But finally, they've been forced to give them some real money, $53 million. We'll see what happens here. We'll keep monitoring the story for you, but I tell you, this is a three-year battle, America. Three years, the farmers and fishermen most impacted by the spill now we'll receive $3,300 in compensation, right? And it took forever for them to finally get this money. Forever. Forever. And this shouldn't be a debate. Like, I hate when oil companies destroy, destroy the environment. I'm like, oh, we don't want to pay for it. I mean, I know we destroyed it and all. But we really don't want to pay for it. I mean, it's sort of your fault, that we drilled in your community and we spilled the oil in your community. It's just sickening. Mm -hmm.